This is the hyper extended wrist and painting and draping has already been done. Now we are all set for the radial puncture. This is a local anesthesia which is being given, xylocaine with a 26 gauge needle. Here, unlike femoral, we are giving a very small dose, about 2 cc or at the most 2.5 cc. Because the higher dose can obliterate the radial pulse. You have seen that now we are trying to disperse the xylocaine so that there is good local anesthesia. Now the radial pulse is being fixed with the two fingers. The needle is being introduced. The needle penetrates the skin. And you can see the gush of blood coming out in the hub. And now the needle is being pushed. Needle is set right through and through from anterior as well as posterior wall. And now you can see how the angle of needle is being changed by pushing it little bit downwards and it is being pulled back very gently. You can see the gush of blood and now the hydrophilic wire available with the terumo sheath is being introduced through the plastic cannula and it is being pushed up to the brachial artery. The cannula is removed and now the sheath is being introduced. Please note that most of the times you will not need the scalpel to puncture the skin and it is being introduced so smoothly. The puncture is done and through the side port now nitroglycerin 200 mics is being given. This is the only spasmolytic agent nowadays we are giving. Different laboratories across the world have different regimen that includes nitroglycerin plus diltiazam, nitroglycerin plus verapamil. But we are doing this and depending on your comfort level, you can choose your spasmolytic cocktail regimen.